Hello there everyone! So before I get into the main thing that I want to talk about in this video, I just want to start off by saying that I did manage to breed the uh, Heavy Metal Dragon of the Week today. And so his egg is now in the hatchery, so we've got another 16 hours to wait before we get him. But that does mean that now I can actually focus on breeding the Skeleton Dragon, so we'll be able to say hello to our new dragon very soon, and continue on with trying to breed the Dragon of the Month then, which will be very useful because we only have another 12 days, technically 13 more or less, to go. Um, but I'm just going to be doing the blue map fights today because, as per usual, I do have uh, some very fun stuff to talk about, as per like always in these videos, right? But it is going to be mostly just about the dying player base slash community of DML today because especially as of recently on the Gameloft forums there's just a bunch of people saying look I don't enjoy this community anymore I don't enjoy being a part of it, I don't enjoy helping people, because people just never stop complaining and blaming Gameloft for things that they haven't even done, and it's just like, why do we want to help other people in the community that don't even want to accept that maybe they've done something wrong, or that they're not giving Gameloft the chance to rectify it? But... I did make a video with a few people's Facebook comments on the DML Facebook page a little while back, but I chose not to upload it because I thought, well, you know, maybe I was a bit harsh, maybe just leaving people's names in there was a bit too much, but, um,. It's not getting better on the forums, it's not getting better on the Facebook page like people thought it was. But, you know, it seems like it doesn't get through to people. Like, just scrolling down on the Facebook page today, I saw an endless amount of people complaining about frequently asked bugs and like getting logged out of your games and stuff like that which obviously is very very aggravating don't get me wrong but Gameloft have started having to post their frequently asked bug questions underneath every single post they make because instead of people just discussing about what Gameloft post all that you see anymore on the Facebook page is just I can't log into my game and you haven't responded I hate you Gameloft you should go to hell and stuff like that and if it's not that then it's just code spam add me 7876569 me or something along those lines and um you know I don't see the point of joining in with the rest of the DML community if they are not going to add any input to anything that they ever talk about or post and I don't know is the new breed of players of DML genuinely worse than the first lot or is it just the fact that apparently people are more vocal now I don't know but then, scrolling even further down on the DML Facebook page, oh, what do we see? A guy saying, you need to make all of the Dragons of the Week and Dragons of the Month much easier to breed because they are impossible to get at the moment, apparently. So apparently, even though I just bred a Dragon of the Week just randomly, apparently that didn't happen. I only got the Dragon of the Week because I'm a high level player, which somehow magically means that I am 100% guaranteed to get the dragon that I want. Speaking of which, as far as I'm aware, player level does not have any effect on the dragons that you breed, or the possible chance of you breeding like a legendary. As far as I've ever known, it's only been down to your dragon's level. But I may be wrong about that, but does anybody have any proof to disprove that? Like, I always level my dragons up to like level 10 to 15, and since I started doing that since I was like, what, level 30? 
them, I started consistently breeding Dragons of the Week. And I just don't get what people's complaints are. Yeah, it sucks to not get a Dragon of the Week, but at the same time, why is it a complete requirement of the game that you must get every single Dragon of the Week and Dragon of the Month? Obviously, it is a collection game. Don't get me wrong. But people know how this game works, so what... What gives them the reason to say that, look at all of these thousands of players that have managed to breed it easily, but because I in particular cannot, you must change your game. Someone give me the actual reasoning behind that, because I don't get it. And then, if you don't have people like that, you have other people just randomly throwing out information that's completely untrue and unjust, like... Someone was saying, I hate this game because you need to have level 40 dragons. Go away, Farin. You need to have level 40 dragons to breed legendaries, and I'm not paying money to breed legendary dragons because I don't want to fund Gameloft. Because screw Gameloft! Even though I'm sat here playing your game every single day, screw you, Gameloft! I know this is a free-to-play game, but screw you! You know? And somehow, people don't understand why that seems so incredibly stupid or ridiculous of them to say. You don't need level 40 dragons to breed dragons of the week or legendaries. If you believe that, you are kind of stupid. It is mostly down to just pure chance at the end of the day, but the higher your dragons are leveled, the higher your chances are of breeding rarer dragons, but most people seem to believe that there is a sort of cap on that level, and I, I do seem to feel that level 15s and 20s are more or less around that point. Fine, I am actually going to mute you. Every time I try and talk about anything, I get sent 7 million messages, and you just piss me off even more than the people that play this game. There we go. Damn it. Speaking of which, look at these two heavy metal dragons here. But... I could go on and on about people just randomly spurting off information, but then I even get to the post about the Deep Sea event where Gameloft's like, Where are you in the event, guys? And then I just see someone say, F you, Gameloft! You created another impossible event that nobody, NOBODY in all caps can complete. Anybody that's ever completed an event can only do so if they are a max level a uh, level 12 VIP user that wakes up during every hour of the night and plays every hour of the day is basically the people that you see all the bloody time when game are just trying to be like Oh, how are you guys doing? Are you gonna get the seahorse or not? Or are you just playing the event for fun? And everyone's like, screw you! Screw you, Game Loft! Like, it is revolting. But I did hold back on the other video I was gonna upload purely because I thought, you know, no, I'm gonna have faith in the community and the people that I called out, I don't wanna seem as harsh on them. As I did at the time, but you know what? At this point, I don't care. I I just, <laughs> as usual, I just get to the point where somebody in particular says one particularly stupid message, and it just tilts me to no end. So directly after this video goes up, I will be uploading that one. Not sure how many people are gonna get sort of annoyed by it are actually gonna see the light, see logic for a change, but, you know, what can you do? If you want to watch it, watch it. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. Don't go onto the video and then say, I don't want to watch this, and just, like, post it for the sake of it. That's just, like, the rest of the people. It's like, what's the point? But... Yep, the forum is not looking good. People are quitting left, right, and centre. The Facebook page is not looking good because it's just full of the people that complain, because the people that don't complain 
are the ones that aren't vocal about it because they just think, oh look, it's a video game, I don't mind too much. I've realised that this game has a lot of new elements to it. I've realised that the events are not impossible. I've realised that there are people in this world that have not spent a single gem before that can also finish the event. Oh wowie, what a big mystical, magical place we live in where people can actually do that. Guess what, that's because the events are not impossible. And you can do the events without waking up during every hour of the night. You know, I wasn't home for three days of the event, and I I legitimately almost got the Angler Dragon during the Deep Sea Dragons event. So anyone that complains that they can't do it, they just weren't going about it correctly. They weren't using Fire Dragons like they should have been. They weren't... I don't know, they weren't leaving their gold to collect at the right times, they weren't... Just breeding the right stuff in general, so they weren't breeding the fire and wind dragons together. So they just did not know how to do it. It seems like those are the people that complain. Because they do not know how to do it. I know I have talked about that before. It's just people not understanding some of the tactics to do the event. But people are just like, <clears throat> Oh, it's a casual game, so we shouldn't have to put in any effort. But that's how Dragon City and the other games work, isn't it? Like, if you actually want to get special stuff, I thought that they had, like, mini quests and stuff that took a lot of time as well. But, like, this game in particular is the hardest game that has ever been released in the history of mankind. I don't know. But... Don't get me wrong, I'm sure that we will eternally hear the complaints. But, on a happy note, we have our first level 60 dragon here. There you go, Andy. How you feeling, buddy? Elwyn, also, if you haven't noticed, the Dragon Codex has actually moved. So if you go into the awards, like, trophy section, then the collections is down here now instead of in the other tab. So I saw a bunch of people panicking going, They've gotten rid of the Codex! They're trying to steal even, like, take away even more gems for us. <gasps> Evil game loft. Sorry, if you don't know where it is, it's right there, by the way. But, um, yeah, that's me complaining as per usual. Nothing new there, right? But, um, yeah, the other video will be up after this one, after not too long. So, if you actually want to delve deep into some of the beautiful thoughts and comments, that I've seen over like the past couple of weeks on the Facebook DML page then go and check that out afterwards but anyway guys thank you very much for watching and until next time I will see you then